everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. Happy Sunday, happy spring. Um, Easter's next weekend. I'm done with Easter, so I hope you'll go back and watch my Easter videos. And right now I'm gonna be doing some really cool things that are a little bit, I guess, different. I'm doing some 3D artwork, which I love art anyway. So I hope you're gonna enjoy them. And I'll be doing some other different stuff in the coming weeks. So I hope you're gonna watch. I wanna thank all of you. I'm getting lots of subscribers, which is so exciting for me and my daughter because she helps me out with the editing. So will you please just subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, share with your family and friends, and just be a part of our family. Okay, let's start to DIY, guys. Have fun. Okay, I have this cute little truck from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut the carrots off. It's going to take quite a few times because it is a bit thick. But here goes with the knife that I got from Dollar Tree also. So I'm trying just to get it to where I can just break it off. So I'm going to get a new little piece because it was getting dull. I am not very good with the tools. <laughs> I really am not. Especially ones that are sharp. They're a little bit scary to me, to say the least. Here I start again, and I'm just going to keep cutting along that same line to just to keep making it weaker so it'll just snap off. Now scissors don't do it either. So I did snap it off actually. I think my camera cut off at that point, but yeah. I think I just kept on with the knife, the utility knife, till it actually snapped off. It's not as easy as it looks, trust me. Unless you've got a heavy hand. I don't have a heavy hand, so it took me a while. So I have this really cute black checkered material that I got at Christmas time at Walmart and I'm going to trace the little truck onto the fabric with a pencil and then I'm going to cut out the fabric and I'm going to glue it onto the truck. I really like the way the fabric looks on a lot of these um, trucks. It just makes it look very chic and a little more high-end than painting it. Because a lot of times when you paint these trucks, it takes more than one coat and then it looks really thick. But if you use some fabric, it just makes it look more high-end and um, just more finished look. So I'm just using my little scissors to get around the edges because that makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to use my glue stick because I like it to look flat with, you know, no, you can't see the really bubbles under it. And then you have to cut out the little circles for the tires because I'm going to paint those. And there's my glue stick. I'm just going to rub it all over the truck. And then I will just press the fabric on top of that one. 
and just smooth it out with my hands. I love how this is turning out. I love the little black checker. It's just so cute. I wish I would have had some black felt because then I would have covered the little uh, wheels with the black felt, but I had to paint it. I'm using the little silver uh, paint marker from Dollar Tree. And I have some black markers from Dollar Tree where I'll be painting the little wheels. And Dollar Tree markers are really nice for a dollar. You cannot beat them. So I'm just going to color it in with the marker. And now I'm getting some flowers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue them to the back of the truck. So I've got some different color ones that I think are really pretty. And I'm just cutting them with my wire cutters. You won't see the back because it'll be... You can either put this in a wreath or you could just put it up against one of your walls in the kitchen you can make a stand for it if you want i didn't make a stand but you can easily use the little wood bo blocks from dollar tree to make a stand but i love the way this one turned out it's so cute a truck full of flowers. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now I did put the door handle on it and I did put some lights on it. As you'll see, I'm using a little paper clip that was white. So I cut it with my wire cutters. It's just a paper clip and I just bent it to look like a little door handle. And then I had some of the like sparkly gems from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use those to put some lights on the truck. I'm going to be using the colored ones because they have the, the clear ones on there and the red ones. So I'm going to put the little red tail lights on. I'm using the medium sized ones because they have small, medium, and large. And then you're going to have little red tail lights. Then I'm going to use the clear one. There's some clear ones in with the pinks. So I'll use the clear one for the headlights. How cute is that? Is that adorable or what? I love it. Look how cute that is. I think it turned out so sweet. 
Okay, my next one is like a sunflower that came from Dollar Tree. It was the, one of the welcome signs. So I took the welcome sign apart and now I'm just painting it. I'm using the white chalk paint all over so that you'll be able to see the purple, which will be really more vibrant rather than, I think it was orange. So you really don't want to paint over orange. So always paint it white because you, you get a better color and the color shows through. I'm using two different purples. And I'm just going through and painting all the leaves. Most of these paints I got from Walmart. Um, one of them was Appleberry. Apple Barrel, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here thinking how tired I am. But I'm just going to paint this all the way around. And as you can see, it's turning out so pretty. I love the purples and the lavenders and the orchid colors. I'm letting it dry and then I'm just going to go back through and give it some more depth to it. Drying it with my heat gun and then I'm going to go through and just give it some dimension with the, the purple that comes from Dollar Tree. I think it was in their Easter section. And that's the apple barrel that I use. And the purple from the Easter section. I think it turned out beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I have a little frame box that I had from Dollar Tree and I had painted it white. Now I'm using my spray paints to give it some more colors. I love the spray paint. It's absolutely great to work with. It goes on wood, it goes on plastic, anything that's got sort of a porous And when you dry it, it sort of makes it look like a splattering, which is sort of cool too, because it moves it around. So look at that purple, that is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? The only thing it gets on everything. So you gotta definitely put a bag or something under it because it just, when you spray it, the spray goes everywhere. Probably should have gone outside with it, but it was still cold out, so. Anyway, I'm gonna glue it to the board. Like it's like a little frame, it was a sign and I had painted over it. So I'm gonna glue it. You have to glue it on the tips because it does stand up a little bit like a 3D. So you just gotta go around and just glue the tips of it. Cause you can't really glue the middle of it. So again, you're just, um, you're just uh, gluing down the tips of it. Look how cute that is. This would be cute like on a three-tier tray if you had a taller one. I just think it turned out so pretty. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Please remember to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell and share with your family and friends. I really appreciate you guys and you just have a great day and just remember to be kind to each other because kindness always matters.